Hey there, slightly longer video this week as I wanted to delve into a question that I got uh, regarding caloric burn in cardio and weight training and whether or not you can achieve the same results in terms of fat loss. So today we're going to briefly compare interval training with low intensity cardio and resistance training for which is best when it comes to weight loss. But I also wanted to give you a little bit of background first so you can get a clearer and fuller picture. Now, as a personal trainer and coach, when I first started delving into all of this information, it kind of got me down a little bit that it would appear that exercise sessions don't burn as many calories than we would expect. And when it comes to weight loss, exercise alone isn't enough. Studies have shown that physical expenditure alone typically results in weight change of under 3% of your initial body weight, with absolute weight loss ranging from 0.5 to 3 kilograms. Um, of course, there's uh, many, many benefits to exercise than just weight and fat loss. But if your goal is purely that, then we know that exercise alone isn't going to be enough. You're going to need to get a grip on your sort of diet and nutrition as well. You can't out exercise a bad diet unless you're a sort of top athlete. So we need to keep that in the back of our minds. So we know then that diet diet trumps exercise when it comes to fat loss, but diet and exercise trumps diet alone. So well worth doing. In terms of weight changes, what has been shown is that exercise has its main benefits in helping to keep the weight off. And studies have shown that people who maintain high levels of activity lose more weight and keep it off than those that are doing a sort of minimal amount. So it's vital that we recognise that whilst physical activity has a modest effect on the initial weight loss, it's going to be a critically important strategy for the maintenance of that weight loss. Also, with exercise, it allows you to keep your uh, calorie intake slightly higher. Um, and we want that to be as high as possible, really, um, either while sort of keeping you in a deficit to help you lose weight and fat or at your sort of maintenance levels. And it may also help in preventing a reduction in, in your non-exercise activity. So that would be things like just walking around, the way you move at home, um, that, that kind of stuff. So we do find that those who exercise regularly tend to move more during the rest of the day. So you'll be burning more calories without you even realising it. So how does exercise itself actually help fat loss? There are a few ways, um, one of which fairly obviously is that it increases your energy expenditure during the exercise session itself. After the exercise, you may have heard of something called afterburn, which is when you're burning more calories post-exercise, um, albeit the effect of that's kind of been hugely overstated. It's nowhere near as much as, as people would like to think or suggest. Um, it's probably something that I'm going to do a kind of video myth-busting myth, myth uh, type thing on, but we'll, we'll leave that for another time. Um, we may find that there's uh, increases in your resting metabolic rate as your body has to repair muscles, which is where resistance training becomes particularly useful. And we may also get a repartitioning effect. So what I mean by that is what our body does with the calories that we're consuming. Does it um, send them to sort of build and repair muscles or is it refilling our carb stores rather than storing them as fat? So... As I've said, exercise may not be beneficial in isolation for weight loss, but it be, can, can be great for an overall weight loss plan as it increases our energy expenditure and sends those calories to repair muscles rather than to be stored as fat. Now, whilst we're on this kind of topic, uh, I did want to take literally five seconds to uh, talk about the benefits of exercise beyond the scale because lots of us start exercising wanting to lose weight, um, but we also then have these kind of wonderful um, additions uh, in terms of, of benefits, things like improved life expectancy, lower risk of chronic diseases, reduction of visceral fat, better movement, less pain, stronger joints, joints and bones. Um, we end up with more confidence, uh, improved moods, stress management. Uh, genuinely, there's, there's 101 other reasons we could come up with. So um, hopefully don't just kind of focus on the weight loss um, and fat, fat loss for exercise. So anyway, with, uh, with that slight tangent out of the way, looking at cardiovascular and um, or CV training, um, we should really be sort of focusing on volume and not intensity if we're looking for weight loss. Um, if we want to maximize the amount of weight we lose, we've got to maximize volume over intensity. It's just simply harder to maintain exercises of super high intensity. If you think about doing... Uh, 
high intensity interval training and doing like four minutes at a super intense level like the maximum you could possibly do you're going to burn far fewer calories than if you did just a longer more relaxed session at a lower intensity as an example um we can look at a 2005 study um and this particular study um, looked at people doing a 20-minute interval session, working at sort of 90% of their maximum effort with a few minutes of rest sprinkled in as well. And then they compared that with people doing 30 minutes of continuous cycling at a relatively low intensity. And the difference between calorie burn in those two things was like 10 calories. So ultimately, such a tiny difference is going to boil down to what you enjoy more as to whether or not you do the interval stuff or whether you do the sort of steady state exercise. Moving on to resistance training or weight training, <clears throat> the average weight session is going to burn between 60 and 400 calories. 50 to 75% of that energy expenditure is going to come from the session itself and the rest is going to come post-session as your body's repairing all of those muscles that you've just worked. <clears throat> Again, there's a direct relationship between volume and calories burned. So the more sets, reps, exercises you do, the better. So any session you do should be quite dense i.e getting through as much work as possible of course the rest component of a, a resistance session is going to be key otherwise you're just not going to be able to perform as well as you could which means you'll burn fewer calories but it's ultimately up to you to kind of find a sweet spot with this my kind of phrase that i probably nabbed off someone else is rest as little as you have to but as much as you need to um Worth mentioning as well, energy expenditure of anything you do, any session you do is going to vary depending on your fitness level, your recovery, strength, the exercises you're doing, or the number of exercises you're doing, the volume and the gender of the individual doing it. <clears throat> so what we find then moving on quickly uh, with resistance training against cardiovascular work is that there isn't a great deal of difference between 60 minutes of moderately hard running, so I'm talking kind of 7 out of 10 effort, and 60 minutes of weight training, it creates a really similar response in terms of post-session caloric burn. Um, but when it comes to resistance training, we're, we're not only burning calories, but we're also improving our range of motion. Um, we're going to increase our strength and increase our lean muscle, which is ultimately going to change our body shape and it's going to affect the number of calories we burn at rest, which is a huge positive as well. There's another caveat to mention, of course. Um, when we perform the same type of cardiovascular work, one of the adaptations that our body makes is efficiency. So if you started running at, I don't know, 16 kilometers an hour and you kept doing it regularly, your body just becomes much more efficient at doing it. And it starts to burn fewer and fewer calories and your energy, energy expenditure therefore goes down, 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 down. So... It's really why we should look to do different things to keep that expenditure up. And perhaps that's where resistance training can give us a bit of an advantage because it prevents us from, from that actually happening. And we can regularly change the exercise and we have to adapt all over again. As I've said, resistance training not only burns calories, but also builds muscle, changes our body shape, which is a goal for many, many people that I talk to. A few things to go over then, and apologies if I repeat myself. <clears throat> when it comes to body composition and weight loss, do the exercise you enjoy because you're more likely to stick to it. If you're short on time and you feel fresh, then why not do a high int intensity interval training session? If you want to go for a run, then go for it. It's up to you. Choose exercise though that maximizes the volume you do during the session without lowering the overall work, if that makes sense. Resistance training, as we know now, builds muscles and expends calories, which is a huge positive. I personally think, based on everything that we've gone through today, a mixture of resistance training and cardiovascular training is a really good idea. It's going to give you the best of both worlds. <clears throat> Exercise alone for weight loss is not enough, but it's better than diet alone and is hugely important for keeping weight off. In summary then, is there a best exercise for weight loss? No. No, there isn't. It's exercise that allows you to burn the most calories. And once it goes beyond pure weight loss, we need to bring other modalities to build muscle, keep the weight off and to stay healthy. And as I mentioned earlier, the benefits of the exercise go well beyond just weight and fat loss. So that's come to the end of the things that I wanted to kind of pass on to you. Hopefully you found some of this information uh, useful and interesting. Um, as ever with, with uh, fitness stuff, um, I find that 
uh, sitting on the fence is quite nice. But as I said earlier, uh, a mixture of, of both resistance training and some form of cardiovascular training is best bet for um, weight and fat loss. Um, I'll leave it there. If you've got any questions, if there's anything I can help you with, uh, please give me a shout. I'm happy to help and I will catch you soon.